How could Nona Tobin be in court for four years without any judge ever looking at the evidence? It may be hard to believe, but every attorney opposing her has lied to the court to cover up evidence that would be fatal to their clients' cases. If any judge had looked at Nona's evidence, she would have seen that Nation Star lied about being owed the $389,000 due from Gordon Hansen when he died in 2012. Nation Star tricked the court into letting it settle out of court with Jimmy Jack without going to trial or meeting its plaintiff's burden of proof. Joseph Hong lied about Nona Tobin's claims against Jimmy Jack being heard at trial. If they had been, the judge could not have granted quiet title to Jimmy Jack as Jimmy Jack did not have an admissible deed or any other proof of ownership in the record. Sun City Anthem allowed Red Rock to lie about how the HOA sale was conducted and what notices were sent. Sun City Anthem also covered up that the HOA board did not approve the sale in a meeting where Nona could have found out that it was scheduled to be sold. Red Rock tried to trick Nona into believing that Red Rock had deposited the proceeds of the sale with the court in 2014. Actually, Red Rock attorneys also covertly kept the proceeds of many other foreclosures. The HOA attorneys helped the debt collectors steal these funds by covering up that the HOA bylaws prohibit the HOA board losing control of any money collected for the HOA. Judge Johnson, please don't fall for their tricks. Don't rule against Nona Tobin without looking at the evidence. Judge Johnson, please don't answer Nona's cries for help the way this Jim Crow sheriff helped Sophia.